students and welcome to CAIE Grade 4 Math Unit 2. My name is Diana Saig and I will be your teacher in this video. We will learn in this video angles, turning, position, direction, and symmetry. Angles and turning. Right angle. An angle that measures 90 degrees. Let's look here. How many right angles does each shape have? Here we have a square. How many right angles do you think this square has got? Let's count. One, two, three, and four. The square has got four right angles. How about this diamond or rhombus? Let's look how many right angles it has got. One, two, three, and four. It has also got four right angles. And here we have got a pentagon. How many right angles do you think it has got? Mm, this is not right. This is not. This is bigger than a right angle. This is also bigger, so zero right angles. Clockwise. When we say something is turning clockwise, it is moving in the same direction that the hands move on the clock. So the clock is moving towards the right. We say that it is moving clockwise. Anti-clockwise, it's in the opposite direction of clockwise or opposite direction of how the clock is moving. It is moving more towards the left. We call it anti-clockwise. Let's look at an example. Here we have an arrow and we say that the arrow turns 90 degrees clockwise. What will be the new position of the arrow? So it's going to move 90 degrees clockwise my arrow will point down. Here's an arrow again. This time the arrow is going to turn 90 degrees anti-clockwise. What will be the new position of the arrow? Good job. It will be pointing towards the right. Position and direction. Let's look at ordered pair. A pair of letters or numbers that show a position on a grid. Here's my grid. And I'm wanting to find the ordered pair of this blue square. Well, it's on C, and it is also here if I go up one, two. So my ordered pair is C, two. Ordered pair can also be with just numbers. So I'm trying to find the ordered pair of this green square. I see it's lined up with two and one, two, three, four. My ordered pair is two and four. Access. A line on the graph that is labeled with letters or numbers. This is an example of an axis. We have the x-axis and the y-axis. We say one axis or two axes. We look or count along the axis to find a value. So, we're going to count along the x-axis to find the values for this red counter. I see that it's going one, is it here? No, move over two, yes, it lines up with my two. Two, and let's see how many I'm going to move up. One, two, three, four, and five. Ah, so I found that my ordered pair is two and five. Now, let's try ourselves to place a counter in five and three. Here is my access, so first, I count five on the x-axis, one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to move up three on my y-axis, one, two, three, and I will place my counter. Here is my place counter, and I found my place for five and three, the ordered pair for five and three. Line of symmetry, mirror line. Line that passes through the center of a shape or object and divides it into identical or same halves. Here I have a heart. If I draw a line down the middle of this heart, I can see that this half is identical or the same to this half. It is a line of symmetry. Here on my butterfly, if I draw the line down the middle, I can see that this half of my butterfly is exactly the same or identical to this half. But, for example, if I wanted to draw the line horizontal, I could see that it wasn't because these antennas would not let me be symmetrical. Some shapes, however, have more than one line of symmetry. 
Take, for example, the square. It has got how many lines of symmetry? One, two, three, and four lines of symmetry. It's your turn. Let's look at some shapes and objects, and you tell me, are they symmetrical? Have they? Hey, can you draw a line of symmetry and say that they have identical halves? Can I draw a line of symmetry somewhere on this hat and say that each half is identical? No, not for the hat. How about the van? Can I draw a line of symmetry and say that it is symmetrical? No. And for the butterfly? Yes. I can draw the line down the middle of the butterfly here and I can say that this half is identical or the same to the other half of the butterfly. Now let's try to find the line of symmetry for these shapes. How many lines of symmetry do you think this shape has got? Good job, it has got one line of symmetry vertically. Next one, I have a triangle. How many lines of symmetry? One, two, and three lines of symmetry. And how about this division sign? How many lines of symmetry has it got? One going up and down and one going across. It has got two lines of symmetry. In this video, we learned angle, turning, position, and direction, and symmetry. Have a great day. See you next time.